It is a matter of great concern that the government has announced a scheme called Agnipat to recruit 46,000 soldiers to the three defense forces. The Agnipat scheme is controversial, carries multiple risks, subverts the long-standing traditions and ethos of the armed forces, and there is no guarantee that the soldiers recruited under the scheme will be better trained and motivated to defend the country. We have read and heard the views expressed by retired defense officers. Almost unanimously, they have opposed the scheme, and we believe that many serving officers share the same reservations about the scheme. Our first concern is that the Agnipat soldier will be trained for six months and will serve for another 42 months when 75% of the recruits will be discharged. It appears to us that the scheme makes a mockery of training, inducts into the defense forces an ill-trained and ill-motivated soldier and discharges a disappointed and unhappy ex-soldier into the society. The age of recruitment, 17 to 21 years, raises numerous questions. A large part of our youth will be totally excluded from serving in the defense forces. The stated objective of savings on the pension bill is a weak argument and has not been established beyond doubt. On the other hand, the short period of training, six months, and the unusually short period of service, 42 months, may have negative consequences on quality, efficiency, and effectiveness. We fear that the scheme may turn out to be a case of penny-wise and security-foolish.